right, now you can use old blades from your oscillating tool or new, it doesn't really matter. I've marked it out here, the dimensions for your screws, just be kind of halfway down and you'll have the plastic like that. So you've got some meat down here, maybe halfway. So it'll look like that when you're done. Oh, and you will need a snag grinder and a bench vise. And the only thing that's going to drill this spring steel is a center drill or a carbide drill. We'll have Julio tell everybody where all the tools are located. Thank you, Julio Cesar Chavez Rodriguez Jorge Johnson, Clint Eastwood. That's his name. All right, so I'm going to have at drilling this thing. And you can be real exact with it. You can put layout die on it and do all that. Whatever you want to do. Now the screws that we're going to use are number six, 32 by a half inch long. And we have some star washers that we're going to be using as well. And you can see on this one, and it worked out really well. We didn't use, uh, we used star washer nuts. It had the star washer on them. And when we ground the bolts down so they're flush, it got warm and it melted into the PVC. So then we just snugged this up. Once it dried, we just snugged it up really tight. Now they'll, they'll never come loose. And we've used it over and over for a long time and it hasn't come loose. All right, this is the bolt and the nut and then the star washer will go on there as well. Now this is a carbide drill bit right here. They're not cheap, but they last for a long time and they will virtually drill through anything. They make cobalt drill bits look like chump change. It's an eighth inch. We made one out of Lexan. We made one out of PVC. And I set the vise with the height of where I want it. So all I have to do is set it down on the top of the vise. Now they're not exactly lined up, but again, it doesn't really matter. You can get as exact, exact as you want with it. Now this one happens to be nar more narrow than the other one, so part of the blade will be showing over here. So we can grind that part of the blade down so it's flush, but it never really gets close to your bike, but you can. This one is pretty much the width of it. All right, so we got our star washers. We'll put them on the plastic side. That was about the time I dropped something. Which I didn't. I don't believe it. Like I said, you will not believe how well this works. It's just mind-blowing. And the oscillating tool, the best one we found will be in the tools list. We've tried them all. The one that goes slow enough because you, you run it on slow. You don't need to run it fast. All right, all we need is a wrench and uh, we'll tighten those up. Okay, she's on there. So I'm going to grind these down. When I do, they'll get hot and then I'll snug them up and they'll melt right into that. And if they loosen up on you, all you got to do is use some Loctite. All right, we're here. I'm going to put on the best headlamp there is on the market today. There's two of them we use. They'll both be in the tools list. This thing does the job and it lasts a long time charge wise. Working around a camera is a pain, but I want you guys to see this. Now you see this spot right here. I did that in just a few seconds compare and I did this. And here, didn't do this one, didn't do any of this up in here. I did another spot I'll show you for aluminum. It is unbelievable. I'm going to pull this off. Hopefully I remember what cylinder it goes on. That was just a joke. Oh, you little maggot! You make me want to vomit! Now, for the wheels and stuff, we use this. It works great. It's messy, but it works great. For tight areas like this here, I would pull the plug out. I have a busted plug that I would screw back in there so this isn't sticking up. 
so that nothing gets down in there but then I would allow me to get up in here real tight and again we're using the only thing we use on paint clear coat everything this is all we use and have for years now I'm going to take the first one we built you can use microfibers if you like but as you see what happens when you use mothers it gets a lot of uh, oxidation off the aluminum so we're going to use old cotton t-shirts and all you do is flop it over it like that right there take your mothers and it takes very little of it you do not waste any with, with this process and if you get too much on there wipe it off put it back in the container now watch this area right here keep it tilted up on an angle and you can get it right in those fins. If I could take these bolts out, I'd do it. Look how black that is. Now I'll take the cloth, move it to a clean spot. Now I did that way longer than I had to. Now I'll take a microfiber. Try with a microfiber. Hold it like this, pull back on it. Now, if you want to do the fins themselves, look how much I pulled out of that thing. All you do is put a little bit of mothers on here and you go over it like this. Doesn't get much more beautiful than that. But with the one that I made with the finger on it, I can get right into here and around here. And these have never been done that I know of. When I get done with this, this thing is going to shine like nobody's business. Now let me show you an area that I did down here. Can you tell which one that is? I did just this area right here. Beautiful. Now I'll do this one over here for the video before and after. But let's put the finger on and see how well it works getting into that tight area and up in here. You can make them in any configuration you want. They're easy to change. Pull it off. There's our new one. Mox Nix looking thing. And it has some give to it. But like I said, this one here, these are the best thing to use when you wear one of these blades out, don't throw them away. Save it. This is really stiff. So this one, I'm going to put just a little bit of mothers right up in here. And I should take the spark plug out. And I'll do a little bit up in here. I'll do that. Let's see how it works. up in here. I'm not even going to try to do that area right there because the spark plugs in my way there. Microfiber. You would be struggling like crazy by hand and you'd be getting it all inside down in here. Look at that. I think I'll end up painting the bolts with some high heat, high temp paint. That is a night and day difference, my friends. If you need any help, any questions, let us know. Hope this helps you guys and gals.